This challenge is called Glitch Cat. It's an easy challenge in the general skills category, and it's part of the Beginner Pico Mini 2022 event. The description says, our flag printing service has started glitching. Additional details will be available after launching your challenge instance. So what we need to do is we need to launch the, um, the server that's associated with the challenge. And in order to do so, we need to click on this button right here, labeled Launch Instance. So click on that. And then after a few seconds, we should see the challenge page change. And we'll see this red button over here, which says Restart Instance. So after that happens, we'll see this command right here. It's nc saturn.picoctf.net and then a port number. All right, so your port number and the port number here is probably going to be different. So all you need to do is you need to highlight this command right here, and then you need to copy it. So it's going to be copy, and then we need to go over to our web shell, and we're going to paste in the command. So what this is going to do is it's going to use the netcat command to connect to the server on this port right here. So when we do that, we see that um, we see that it prints out Pico CTF and then glitch me and then a bunch of these functions over here. So what these actually are are these are Python functions and the CHR function over here is going to print out a different character that's associated with these hexadecimal numbers. So what we need to do now is we need to get out of this command. You can do control C to get out of the command. And we can actually, so what this is, these are Python functions right here. What we can do with this is that we can print this out using Python. So what we need to do in this case is to highlight everything on these two, on this, on these lines right here. And just to make sure we're going to right click and select copy. And then what we can do is we can go into the Python interactive console. So we can just type Python and then we're in the Python interactive console. So after that, we can give a print command. So it's gonna be print and then we're going to put the opening parentheses and then we're going to paste in what we just copied over here. So it's gonna be right click, paste, OK, and the last thing we need to do is we need to supply the closing parentheses. So we type in the closing parentheses. So what this is going to do is it's going to print out this right over here, and then it's going to run these functions. So each one of these functions is associated with one character. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different characters. And then it's going to add the um, the closing squiggly bracket over here. So when we run this command, we're going to get the entire flag for this challenge. So press enter, and then this is the final flag right here. All right, so because we were able to run this inside of Python, we were able to have Python print out these characters over here and put this all together as one flag. So we can copy the flag, and then go over to the challenge page. And we can scroll down to where the flag submission field is, and then paste in the flag, click on submit flag, and then we're done. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel, and it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.